Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Metal Gear Solid 4. And we are reverting back to Young Snake, so let the hour long uh, cutscene commence. Yeah, this cutscene is literally like an hour long. It's ridiculous. Well, if you combine all of them, that is. <clears throat> There you are, you silly little robot. Uh, I'll make more use of you in the future. I don't know. Hey, you, get over here. Yes, we're having connection problems. Let's go check it out. Whoops, <laughs> I know who did that. <laughs> Yeah, my bad. <laughs> Alright, so we're sneaking along. This is probably one of the more epic cutscenes in the game. It's a good uh, beginning, anyway. Oh yeah, his invisible glasses. <laughs> See, if I had this old face, it would show the uh, things, obviously, but... Since the solid eye isn't on this uh, mask, it's not going to show. Oh yeah, Liquid Ocelot. Same one from Metal Gear Solid 2. Except he's a little bit more badass this time, because he's wearing shades. And Meryl caught us. Snake, I thought you were supposed to be good at sneaking. I guess not. I knew it. Snake, you're here to kill Liquid, aren't you? That's the mission. Are you going to stop me? My mission is to inspect the PMCs. I'm not in a position to take action. All I can do is stand by and oh, watch. Oh, cool then. I can't help you, understand? I'm a peacekeeper, here to keep order. Understood. Alright, so Meryl's gonna watch us attempt to kill uh, Liquid Ocelot, or Liquid, however you prefer it. Mm. Man. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna... I don't think that pistol has the adequate range. I mean, I might be wrong, but... I'd use, like, the, uh, M4 in this case. There they are patrolling. Activate it. Oh, this is messed up right here. This is, like, another WTF moment. Now, as soon as you hear that mooing noise, you know something's going to go down. But this time, it's not going to be what you think. It's going to be a little surprise. My god, this sounds freaky in the headset. Now what uh, Liquid Ocelot is doing is screwing with everyone's nanomachines in their bodies, which I'm assuming that they're racing around in their bodies, probably driving them insane. Well, it's either that or it's probably really painful, and it's making them, like, do stupid things. Froth at the mouth. Scream. Wow. Ooh, who do we have here? Hello. Oh my god. <laughs> oh jeez. I'm telling you, the first act is just nothing but lols in this game. Just everyone is just bugging out. 
Except Johnny, of course, because, well, we will find out about that later. Oh, damn, dude. I never thought it would be so easy. But these results. Oh, refreshing. You're sounding a bit like Volgan there. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. Get out of my way, you dumbass. I'm sorry, but Snake looks more badass with his mask on. Or this young mask on. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna work. Not why you bugged out like that. Oh no. It's been too long. <sighs> Jeez. Liquid. Rejoice! We're not copies of our father, after all. Yeah, you are. We are free of the shackles of Well, fate. that's a different story. Snake. Brother. Now, the whole story behind Liquid Ocelot is that he's sewn... After um, Gray Fox cut off his arm, um, <laughs> Ocelot pretty much sewed uh, Liquid's arm onto where his arm got cut off. And uh, unfortunately, and in some weird circumstance, uh, Liquid's arm took control of his mind, so now he's Liquid Ocelot. So now he has, like, um, Ocelot's, well, no, um, Liquid's mind. It's, like, weird. Naomi. Yep, there's Naomi. The harping wench from Metal Gear Solid 1. But she's not, she's not so bad in this game. Yes, and that is a shot that suppresses nanomachine activity. Snake, if you won't be a prisoner to fate, then go. Fulfill your destiny. Okay. You're gonna give me a pep talk while I'm losing my sanity. Right. See, Naomi never really did a lot of things that make sense. Like, Snake, you can't use weapons on this floor. There are a ton of explosives. What? And then even Snake gets shot at. <laughs> you know, it's just some things that Naomi does that's kind of aggravating, but... Okay, enough with the badassery, okay? Besides, Snake is way more badass than you, Liquid. Snake doesn't even need shades in order to be more badass than you. Wait a minute, didn't you just put your shades on and... Oh. Because it looked like you had them off there for a minute, I'm not sure. Okay, no, I'm mistaken. Okay. Wow, I almost got crushed by one of those things. Now, this is a really um, important scene right here. Yeah, Akiba rescues us. This is why I told you guys not to laugh at him, because he really becomes a central piece of the plot later on in the game. Alright, now here's... well, I'll just explain how the screen works. Um, basically, what I have here is no alerts, 
no continues. See on the far right, we see the two zeros, and I get awarded extra Drebin points for them. So we will continue our no alert phase throughout the entire game.